There are so many electric skateboard companies out there now that I think I think when looking to figure out which electric skateboard to buy, I think most people are doing it wrong. And that's why most people are ending up with the wrong board. I'll explain that in a bit, but you guys know I've been looking for a new skateboard for a while now. The, the board that Morgan got me when this channel crossed 10,000 subscribers, the battery died. And when I went to get a repair, I found out that Riptide went out of business. So now I just have a dead skateboard which sucks. And I've, I've tried a bunch of boards since then. I've tried a few different companies boards. I've tried a bunch of my friends boards, trying to find kind of my perfect board. And you guys in particular have reached out to me a ton, just commenting over and over and over about, about one brand, which I think they're now the Nike or the Tesla of electric skateboards. They're kind of the board that, that you compare all other boards to. It's Evolve. They're an Australian company, but now they have a US headquarters and that US headquarters just happens to be right down the street from my house. It is 12 minutes away. And I got to go get a shop tour yesterday. I got to see their San Diego offices, the, the huge warehouse they have, and see the guys and meet the guys that are actually building and assembling Evolve boards here in San Diego. And I didn't know this, but the boards actually get assembled in San Diego. So they get them to the San Diego warehouse, they take them out of the box, they put the wheels on, they get the battery installed, and then they test everything out. They test out the battery, they test out the motor, they even do a load test where a guy stands on the boards and they run it through a few cycles to make sure that the motor is working great, that the battery is working great. That's all done before they put it back into the box and ship it to you, which is pretty sweet. That makes me feel really good about those boards and they have a shop dog named Bucket. Very, a very cool shop dog named Bucket. Who doesn't like a shop dog? Every, every shop should have a dog. So they're not just some, some random company out of China that slapped a logo on a board and sells it to you. Or maybe, maybe you get a board from a company that's new and makes a really cool board that you like and then they go out of business and then you can't fix your board. <laughs> Still so bummed about that. Evolve has actually been making boards for 10 years. Their boards all come with a one year warranty and they have service centers in over 40 countries. So if your board does break, something goes wrong with it, a manufacturer defect, you send it into them, they actually take care of it and send it back to you. And by the way, this is not sponsored by Evolve. Evolve did not sponsor this video. I'm, I'm just impressed. So with all of you guys telling me about Evolve, everything I've read about Evolve, I am super stoked to test out ugh, the Stoke. This is, this is their newest and most portable board, the Evolve Stoke. And like I said, today is just a, a first look of this board. I did get to take it out for a ride yesterday in Carlsbad and wow. Yeah, I, I will be riding this thing a ton over the next few weeks and I will do a full review on this board kind of a, a one month later with the Stoke review. But more than anything right now with this board, I can say it's fun. It's just a really fun board to ride. It's super, super carvy. And while they, they kind of pitch it as a surfy feel, that, that super surfy, it's very surf inspired if you see, see the deck with the swallow tail on the back, but how the trucks how the trucks pivot together. It feels more like a snowboard than it does like a surfboard. I don't know how you kind of pop from turn to turn, how you, you go from rail. It feels, it feels very snowboard-esque and it's a, it's a real good time. But before we talk about, about why people keep choosing the wrong electric skateboards, first let's go over the specs of the Stoke. The Stoke can do up to 22 miles an hour, can go 10 miles on a single charge, can climb a 30% incline with its dual 1500 watt GTR motors. Now here's something that I actually learned yesterday. I, I didn't understand this because the Stoke is evolves low end board and then they've got the GTR which is the high end board but these are the GTR motors so basically what they did was they took the GTR 1500 watt each motors they took all the electronics from the GTR they put it on a shorter deck with a smaller battery and they called it the Stoke so this board has all of the power and the speed 
of their top of the line board, the board, the like, oh my gosh, Evolve GTR. But in a short board that's super, super carvy. This board also comes with their R2 remote, which is, it sounds like people either love it or they hate it. I'm I'm gonna hold my opinion on this remote. It is a little odd getting used to a trigger remote because I've always used a thumb wheel. So this is a, a trigger for the throttle and your thumb up top for the brake. And I think that's kind of the main thing that people don't like when they first put it in their hand. But most people after a while say they love it. So I'm gonna give it a few weeks and see if I change my mind. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get used to it. This board has 85 millimeter orangutan kaguamas. I went for the 77As. There's three different hardnesses that you can choose from. The 77A is the softest. So it's gonna be way more grippy. It's gonna really hold those turns super, super tight. And it's be a smoother ride overall. All that to say, the, the thing that, that really makes this board fun, the thing that's like holy cow about this board and that you notice right away when you look down on it is, look at those trucks. <laughs> These are 306 millimeter dual kingpin super carved trucks, and they are massively wide. To give you some reference, the boosted board Stealth had 190 millimeter trucks. So 190 millimeter on the boosted board Stealth, 306 millimeter on this thing. That's gonna give you a, a way more stable ride when you're just riding, but then when you go to turn, instead of these two little things bending like this, it's these giant trucks creating this super, super carvy vibe. It's the thing that I think makes this board what it is. And then all that is underneath the bamboo deck. This is a, a 33.5 inch bamboo deck. You'll also notice a, a EVA foam kick pad on their tail pad back here. Kind of like a surfy vibe. I don't know how that's going to hold up, but I'm going to test it for a month and let you know. I also, I also want to get this wet and see if it becomes slippery when wet, hopefully not. That would be a bummer, but definitely something that, that I've thought of. Up front here on the bamboo, it's it's not grip tape. It's that spray on grip tape, which, which is great, but then when it wears out, you either have to get the spray on grip tape and, and re-spray it, or you've got to scrape it off, sand it all the way down, and then put normal grip tape back on top. Not a big deal, but when you've got it like this, it sure does look good. How good does that bamboo look? <laughs> I get why they do the spray on grip tape. So this is the board and this all comes with and it comes with an accessory case and the accessory case has got uh, all your all your things in it check that out so in there you've got your your power supply you got these two pieces are your power supply you've got a y tool a a skate tool that you can keep with you which is super handy and then lastly inside your case is another case and they give you a case just for the remote control Where'd that thing go? So you've got a case for the remote control. If you want to just chuck this in your backpack like this, uh, it's got its own case, which is which is very clever. I'll probably use this more than more than I'll use this. I'll probably just throw this in my backpack, this in my backpack in here, and then grab the board and go. But okay, so why do I say? that most people are judging electric skateboards wrong and therefore most people end up with the wrong electric skateboard. It's because most people are judging electric skateboards on the specs. Because if you're just looking at the specs, then, then you are doing it wrong because there's plenty of boards that are the cheapy boards that companies just throw a logo on. They come out of China, mass produced, and they just pump them out like crazy. And they can say that they can do 22 miles an hour or more. They can say that they have the range of of boards like this. They can say all kinds of things in the spec sheet because that's what they know they're selling you. What they can't say, what, what none of these boards can quantify is how much fun are they to ride? Some boards are just more fun to ride than other boards. They're like, like electric skateboards should be judged on a on a fun o meter. When you think of something like like the one wheel, people don't buy the one wheel because it takes off the line super fast or because it has some crazy high top speed. They buy it because it's really really fun to ride. When you're just going from point A to point B, you have a really good time getting there. And that's what I'm looking for in an electric skateboard. In an electric skateboard 
skateboard. I'm looking, I'm looking to have fun. And this board that has the super powerful motors, has the specs, has all that on paper, what you can't quantify and what, what I can't say enough about this board so far is it's it's just really, really fun. The the carvability, the, the surfy feel that actually feels more like snowboarding, ah, uh, it's just a good time. Yeah, stay tuned for, for the one month later with the Stoke. We'll see how this thing holds up. We'll see how, how this foam holds up, how the battery holds up, how this grip tape holds up. Because again, again, it's a spray on grip. And I will let you guys know what I think if, if I get used to the trigger thing and then the thumb break, if that ends up, maybe that's better. Maybe this is better. It's like Apple taking away the headphone jack on our phones and then later we're like, hey, that is better. Bluetooth headphones are better. Maybe, maybe that's what this is, or maybe not. Maybe it's terrible. I don't know. I'm gonna go skate this thing and I will find out. I will let you guys know. Right. Oh, jeez. Box. Ugh. Come on, come on. Also, for all you guys that were concerned that I wasn't wearing a helmet in the video where I was just on my on my carver board, uh, Evolve, Evolve hooked me up with a helmet. So I will be wearing a helmet. See ya.